Well, hey, Rick and Jennifer, yeah, you know, Kenny Payne came in here. There were, the expectations were so high. Everybody expected him to bring in a bunch of players and lead U of L to the promised land, to the Final Four. The road to the Final Four starts tonight and will end in Glendale, Arizona, in April. But his first season here was historic for all the wrong reasons. Now he hopes that with a bunch of different players, the results will be better in year two. It was torture at times to, to go through that. It was hard. Um, I never lost like that before, but it also, I learned from it. Kenny Payne says he learned not to take the criticism personal. He took over a 13-win team that only returned to two of its top seven scorers. Not to mention the NCAA ruling that was hanging over the recruiting process that first year. But the results were even worse than expected. Three straight home losses by a single point, including one to Bellarmine, an 0 and 9 start. The Cards finished 2 and 18 in the ACC and just 4 and 28 overall. Now it's time for us, this group, to fix it. And it's the first step. A lot of the things when I walked in the door, we inherited. Some of those guys that we inherited are gone. The mentality is gone. Um, now we're just starting a new culture. Payne is banking on eight new players to help him mold that culture. But the hill is a big one to climb. They turned the ball over 22 times in an exhibition win over Simmons College and were out-rebounded 47 to 33 in a three-point loss to Division II Kentucky Wesleyan. I don't feel pressure. I feel like when you look at it genuinely, honestly, it's the first step the first step. Uh, this was broken, right? It was broken um, on a lot of different fronts. So to watch it, see it, evaluate it, figure out how do you fix this, how do you change this, has been hard. So I feel like we've taken a major step in the right direction. I want people to watch us and say it looks different. That's why I keep talking about the eye test. It feels different. The energy is different. And then people will understand that we're headed in the right direction. Attendance numbers are at an all-time low. Will UofL fans be willing to give him enough time to get there? This fan base is going to be with you when you're winning. They're going to be with you. So don't look at some of the negative stuff and think that they automatically assume that we're not any good. Understand, just like football, when this is good, they're going to come and support you. That's what the history of this program has been. You know, even more questions after they did lose for the second straight year in exhibition game to a Division II school. The first opponent tonight, UMBC, University of Maryland, Baltimore County. Everybody knows them as the, the first ever number 16 seed to beat a number one seed when they beat Virginia in the 2018 NCAA tournament. Now, we mentioned UofL has eight new players. This team has 11 new players, so a totally new squad, not to pick to finish that high in the America East. So UofL seems to be set up for a win tonight, and, and that win was would give Kenny Payne his first winning record as the UofL head coach. We'll hear more from him coming up in a few minutes in sports.